there's some new information out there kind of backing up the theory that I was talking about before about these two massive events that took place roughly 11,600 years ago and 12,800 years ago. These two events were separate from the events that had wiped out the dinosaurs or even the Clovis event. These two events were said to be caused by these large fragments or centaurs, possible fragments of comets or debris that has rained down on the planet. In this part of history is known, but it's part of what mainstream science does not want to talk about. Because when you open up all this information, and if you do some research, you're going to find that it's out there. It, it's all over the place. The landscape itself tells the history. Even down to finding the black rings and layers of soot and the difference between the large bones beneath and the smaller bones above show that there was a massive event that wiped out a large portion of the bigger mammals in the United States, in North America. Because when you look back in time at this event, you'll see that there was a loss across the globe. And there was different percentages for different places like Russia, Asia. But it seems North America, then South America were affected the worst. But the place that seemed to have the most animals survive was Africa. And if you look at our history and you look today, you see that Africa is the heart of where all the big predators and all the major big species still roam in the heart of Africa. But this event that took place, these two events, did tremendous damage. And in the last video I did, I talked in depth about this and the effects that it had on the Pacific Northwest and the West Coast primarily. But this was a game changer across the globe because the ice shelf that was coming down through north of Minnesota at the time, anything that was in that area got blasted, got hit, and it was throwing up all this debris. Any of the vegetation that was on the ground got lit on fire. And this massive wall of seawater would come in with huge chunks of ice and, and glacier deposits. It's all raining down, you know, from this impact. This is what happened. And it's being covered up and not talked about in the mainstream science because what they've done is they've set it up to where it's only what they say you see and if you say anything different you're you're a pseudoscientist you're, you're crazy you're a conspiracy theorist but the evidence is is just stacking up mountains of it and what happens is a lot of these scientists that spend 20 30 40 50 years in a field attach their own ego their own personality and their own career to to this lie that's been pressed upon the people. They've been teaching classes and giving out PhDs based on lies on our history. That's just the way the people up top want it to be when they want to control you. They control your history. They control your present. Well, then they control your future. You see, and it's one of the hardest things to come across are the facts about the history of not only this planet, but of everything. But... This was some more information backing up those theories fully. Thought it was rather interesting. I'll leave a link. Make sure to check out all the stuff over here on this two different links. It's been Dabu7. Peace.